What's done now uh, to repair bones normally is to implant an alloy that is coated with a bioactive material that uh, promotes attachment of the natural bone to the implant. The problem with that is that in time that attachment degrades and the implant loosens and it has to be replaced. What we need is a truly porous material that the natural bone can grow into and so that the implant becomes an integral part of the bone itself. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you go from combustion to bone replacements? I mean, how do you get bone replacements out of combustion? Well, we initiate a self-sustaining exothermic reaction. Can you say that again? <laughs> an, exothermic, an exothermic reaction is a chemical reaction that generates more heat than it takes to keep it going. And once initiated in this uh, mixture of powders that can be packed into any shape, it propagates through the uh, sample and the result is a porous ceramic or a porous glass ceramic that is very lightweight and can be made very strong. Well, how does uh, microgravity uh, affect that process? Well, we found that in microgravity, the pores are larger and they're more uniformly distributed. As is shown in this picture, uh, the uniform distribution of the low gravity sample on the left side results in a much stronger material. Uh, and we can adjust on the, on the space station, in the absence of gravity, we'll be able to adjust the pore sizes and so that we can actually tailor a particular material to uh, mimic the bone. So bone replacements, have we actually, or you actually planted this bone? And Yes, we have. Uh, the next picture shows a sample of a uh, porous material that we made, a porous ceramic, that is implanted into the skull of a rat. And you can see the natural bone material, which uh, shows up in red in this micrograph, growing in to the porous implant. Wow. What are some of the other applications for porous material? There's a lot of end uses for porous materials. Uh, just a few uh, are uh, high temperature filters, uh, catalyst supports, uh, fireproof insulation, for example, in aircraft, uh, surrounding aircraft engines, and lightweight structures uh, for use in space and even uh, in planetary and lunar uh, environments. Well, I tell you, all those applications, I like the, the bone graft just in time for my knee replacement about 20 years. <laughs> we'll so you keep, you keep working on it. We'll work on it. Thanks, Frank.